what is up YouTube, JitterXYY here coming at you with a brand new video. This is somewhat more of a how-to type thing. So, um, yeah, this is going to show you guys how to run Lucky Block Mod on a server. On a server. I believe there are no other videos out there that actually show you how to run uh, a Lucky Block Mod like server type thing. So, I am going to show you how to do it. It's fairly easy. It took a little bit of trying, but it honestly was not that hard. Now, let me just show you real quick. All you need to do right now, you need to go download. See these two files? In Forge 1.7.2, bloody blah, installer, and this version of Lucky Blocks, which here I will have those in the description this will take you to the forge and downloader and all you're gonna wanna do is it'll take you right to this page right when you get on and what you're going to do is you're going to come to 1.7.2 recommended and that's going you're gonna bring your cursor across and you're gonna go to installer now you're gonna click that installer I already downloaded it so I'm not going to be doing that this time but you're going to click installer you're not going to click any of these other things you don't want to click user dev universal SRC javadoc installer win or change log you just want the installer so then you're going to click on that have it download and take it to your desktop alright then you're going to go to this web skype as this is where I go for every kind of like mod or anything like that. I don't trust any other people. Sky Daz, he is the only person I trust because he, all my stuff, he, like, he doesn't, I don't know how to describe it, but he does not give you viruses. Any of the stuff that he downloads, he has downloaded before and tried, and then he puts them up on his website. So, if you're downloading anything, I suggest you go to Skydash. That's where I download all my stuff. Like I can, I can do a bunch of other videos, but of this, but this is pretty much where I go for everything: texture packs, maps, mods, tools, installers, any cool things like that. I go here. So this will be in the description as well. You're just going to go to here, Lucky Block Installer. 1.7.2 and you're gonna scroll on down download mom from original thread or you can download it from either one of these I just always just out of habit go to the original thread but I do suggest if you are installing this and you are still you know a little iffy on my video and you don't understand I suggest you I always read these no matter what and even if you're just gonna like skim through you need you need forge okay there's no way this is gonna work without forge so this is a forge server so you're just gonna click download here and it'll take you to adfly or something like that and you're just gonna download that and put it on your desktop after you do that this is what you're gonna do alright I want you to go like this right click go to new go to folder Go to, we'll call this Lucky Block Tut. Or Lucky, or we'll just call it uh, Server Tut. Okay? So we're just going to call it that. Alright. What you're going to do now, now that you have Lucky Blocks downloaded and it's on your desktop and you have Forge Installer on your desktop, this is what you do. Double click on Forge Installer. Let it load up. It'll bring you this mod system installer. What you are going to do is click. You have these three things. You have install client, install server, and ins extract. What you're going to do is click on install server. It should bring you up this red uh, type of thing that says there are already files at the target directory. What you're going to do is click on these three dots. We'll have it load up. Then what you're gonna do wherever your wherever you made uh, wherever you made your file that you want or your folder where you're gonna 
run your ser your forge server and run lucky blocks on a server that's what you're going to want to find so mine is on my desktop so i'm going to click desktop then i'm going to go to server tut and i am going to hit open so it should oh yeah then you're going you see now it has changed and it's now on it's now going to be directed right into there so then you hit ok and it's going to come up with this and download this doesn't take too long see it downloads the library and all that stuff mine com mine i usually download stuff pretty quick so this shouldn't take too long it's just pretty much going to give you the files you need to play on a minecraft forge server with your friends so this way all right, there you go. Once you're finished, it'll say successfully downloaded Minecraft server, downloaded six libraries, and installed Forge. You hit OK. You're going to open up this, all right? You should have these three things in here, all right? Now, for this next part, you are going to need WinRAR or some kind of 7-zip opener. And I can put a WinRAR... Uh, link in the description for you to download as well so I will do that I will make sure I will and so what you're gonna do this is important alright you have these three files before you even upload or before you even put this in anywhere in here you wanna first you're going to right click you're going to wait I'm trying to think open with WinRAR alright now that you open that up Drag that to one side. The, this is your Forge Universal. You just installed this, okay? What you're going to do now is open up Minecraft Server 1.7.2. So you're going to, same thing, open with WinRAR. And then, alright, as you see, I've opened that up. Now I can just do that real quick. And what you are going to do, on your Forge Universal, on this one right here, alright, you are going to come and... Click on one here, click on it, right click on one, select all, bam, now, drag these over to your Minecraft Server 1.2 jar, and it's going to extract as you see right now, it's copying all of those over there, you hit OK, and then it's going to do that, it's going to update, you can close out of that, you can close out of that then we can open that back up now what you are going to do you're going to run your minecraft server 1.7.2 so there we go we'll run this let it load up for the first time it'll install other things it'll install logs mods it'll pretty much start like a new server so it'll load this up and you'll have your new server loading up here and everything so that's right now what it's doing you have to let it load up so we're just gonna be patient let that load up preparing spawn area okay so we just give it some time and Ugh. Alright, once it is loaded up, this is what you need to do. This is so simple. Type stop, enter. It'll save your world, it'll save all that. Boom! Now this will start looking somewhat like a normal vanilla Minecraft server. So you have your you have your whitelist, your ops, your server config file. You have all this stuff. You have what you're going to run your server on, your band players, your band IPS, your world, your mods, logs, libraries, and your config. What you are going to do now, this is all, this is how simple it is. Click on mods. You are going to take this 1.7.2 lucky blocks that you get from Skydaz, put it in here. Once you put it in there, you are good to go. Then, you put, do what I just did there and now what you need to do oh, and uh, I'm just letting you guys know before I continue on you do need to have lucky blocks like you need to have a 1.7.2 forge installed on your client version of Minecraft not on the server so 
just I will have a link to the other to how to install Forge and Lucky Blocks to a client. I will have that uploaded. There are I guarantee there are millions of vi uh, videos on YouTube on how to do that, but I will have one of me talking and telling you how to do that. So yeah. Um, now all you want to do, all you do, Minecraft Server 1.7.2, load it up again and let it load up let it load up there we go you will see now it'll say for fml forge mod loader and it's loading up preparing spawn area and it's done so now what you need to do open up your minecraft launcher yes all right let mine load up here okay all right, you are going to get to your Forge, whichever one you have, Forge 1.7.2, or your release 1.7.2 Forge, so you're just, it's most likely, if you're playing on like 1.7.10 or the latest version, you're just going to come to Edit Profile, Use Version, and you are just going, it'll bring you to this thing right here that I'm on, you're just going to scroll all the way down, and you will have to you'll have to install the forge client side first for this to work and then you'll have to just put that into your forge client side too as well and then once you do that all you need to do is save profile and you'll see it down here 1.7.2 forge dot 10 10 dot 12 dot 1 dot 112 and that's all ready to go so then you just hit play and you load up your minecraft just as you normally would all right, let mine load up here. Yep. All right. Let it load up. Now, granted, if this is your first time installing Forge to your client side, which is just like single player then you're not going to be able it's going to be a little bit slower for your minecraft to load up your minecraft isn't crashing it's just like pretty much loading a brand new type of like minecraft so you have like your normal vanilla minecraft it's loading like a, co a different coded minecraft so it'll take a little bit of time so then all you need to do bam come here and then as you see here you have your server right here you'll have to add it whatever whatever it is you just go to add server and then whatever your IP address is I'm not gonna type mine in but then all you do is go to your server and as you see my my I just named it my server you're gonna double click on it it's gonna log you in and then let it log up let it do its thing always Alright, I also have another, I have damage indicators also on my forge, so I can do a mod review about that too, but um, this is pretty much how you do it. All you'll need to do now is slash game mode 1, uh, give me one sec, everyone sent to you, you will have to op yourself, so since this is a new thing, so let me slash op jitter xyy, boom. Boom. Okay, so we are opt now, everyone. And now what we can do is slash game. Wait, I don't even need to slash bang. All right, now you go into here. You're building blocks. You are going to scroll all the way down, and here you go. As you see, you have your regular lucky blocks, your very lucky blocks, and then those annoying unlucky blocks. And you can play some. Alright, you can place your lucky blocks and your unlucky blocks. And then, now I just want to show you guys right now, if you also didn't know, you can't destroy them while in creative. So you're going to have to go back, you're just going to have to go back to survival. And there you go, you break it. And then as you see, I got four paintings there. Oh, I got a lucky block book. All right. Um, then we break this. Oh, we get some iron as well. That's 
great. Some iron gear. Boom, we break this. Okay, some gear. Now these are the very unlucky blocks. Oh. Boom. That's how that's also how you escape those those horrible things. Slash bang. And yeah, so that's how you install Lucky Blocks on a server. All you have to do now is give your friends the IP to your server, and it'll be just like that. Now, you also will have to have um, port forwarding and port triggering. I can do a thing on how to set that up, but for now, that is how to set it up on a Minecraft server. So yeah, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, rating, favorite, and general feedback is always appreciated by me. I love going, I love seeing your comments, seeing things getting shared, and it also helps a lot because all I'm trying to do is have fun and get my content out to other people who want to just watch and learn. So yeah, if you could, please give me some support, and everything always helps a lot, so... I will see you later, guys.